All right, I just finished um, soldering all the pipe for the silcock, but I wanted to take a quick second to explain um, the torch to you. When you're soldering joints, you want to heat up the fitting because when, when you heat the fitting up and it has flux and stuff, the flux will pull the solder into the fitting when you're sweating the pipe together. And also, when you use your torch, um, this is something you know, my old plumber school teacher told me, when you're soldering the pipe, you don't want to be down in here. The blue cone in the flame has air in it. The hotter part of the flame is more towards the end, the middle to the end of it, right about here. So keep an eye when you're soldering the joints. It's, the flame is typically hotter in and around this area and not down where the cone is because there's a little bit of oxygen and air in that cone and it's actually cooler down there. So if you stay up in the above here, you'll get a nice hot um, joint and it'll suck the solder in real good. And also, if you bump the nozzle while you're soldering the pipe together, more than likely the torch is going to go out. You have to relight it and start all over again. Also, keep a um, wet rag with you so you can wipe the joints off. Okay, I'm going to shut this off and I'll show you how my joints came out. They're not the best. It's been a while since I've soldered, but they're not too bad either. So this is what my project looks like when it's all done. And uh, again, if you want to learn how to solder pipe, uh, I was trying to be safe while filming this, so I'll show you, click on the link in the video, and I'll si show you, you know, how to solder a pipe, pipe together. Um, so these are all kind of wiped clean once I've soldered it. I turned my water back on, slowly inspected for leaks. There were no leaks, and uh, we'll go outside and open up the silcock.